It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through January 31st. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. I have tried to start your reading. This is like the fourth or fifth time, and, and just I don't know what's going on, but I, but uh, there's been some interruptions or you know little snafus or setbacks or whatever so you may be experiencing some sort of bull at the beginning of the week and I'm not sure what it is which is stupidness so anyhow it's just I don't know it's just stupid little stuff so I don't know if that's what's going to be happening for you but it, it don't let it get in the way you're going to prevail because obviously we're going to do this no matter what Okay, so if you are experiencing some hurdles or whatever, don't worry about it. You're going to get it done. All right, on time. So what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Mm, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very positive energy. Luck is on your side. So this is good luck. It is good luck. This is the end of the chapter, or the end of a chapter, and the beginning of a new one. So this is a major completion for you. This is destined change. So you are going in a new direction. The wheel is spinning you in a new direction. This is karmic cycle coming to an end. So some sort of cycle is coming to an end. You are about to begin a new cycle. This is positive change that is coming and it's because you are going with the flow. It's, you're not stopping it. You're allowing it. So whatever is happening is very positive for you. Life is always changing. You could find yourself at the right place at the right time. But whatever is happening is very positive. And luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Changing for the better. See, I mean, a big, huge pile fell. It's just all kinds of little things. Just little things happening. <laughs> Again, huge pile. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep doing it till I get it right. There we go. What do we have for Virgo? Positive change. Dagger. Fear, worries, tense situations. That's just fear. Fear is just that. It's just fear. You're worried about something. Don't let that worry consume you. Pig. Huh? Beware of greed. Tree. Affairs with your family. So you may be dealing with your family. You may be worried about your family. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's a pig. Or you're dealing with somebody that is greedy. Or there's greed in your blood. I mean, I got to be honest with you. There's something going on here when we get this beware of greed. There is going to be some affairs with your family. You're headed in a good direction, a good positive direction. Don't let it go to your head. I think you should put the fear behind you. I feel like it's just fear. It's worries. I think that you need to let go of those worries, okay? You're going to you're going to be successful. This is the end of a chapter positive change and luck that is on your side. It's destined change, of course. So whatever is happening is meant to happen. You could be, you know, this, this could be anybody's energy. Beware of greed. Could be a family member's energy. I mean, you have family there. So what do we have for Virgo? Two of pentacles reverse. Now this is upheaval. It's chaos. So you're, you probably are going to be experiencing probably some imbalance this week. Things may be changing. It, obviously they are. Two of Pentacles about change and so isn't the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing. You may feel a little off kilter, a little off balance. Things may be a little overwhelming. You know, you, you know, you may be having a hard time, you know, juggling all the demands. I think you're going to have a very demanding week. Okay. Um... Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. You are going to be victorious or you have been victorious. This is the end of a battle. This is a yes answer. It's you won. You win. It's over. It's over. You win. It's going to be chaotic, but you win. So whatever it is, this is success. This is uh, making progress. I think that you have 
If you haven't ended a battle already, the battle is going to end very, very, very soon. Um, you've already won. There's nothing to be worried about. What are you What are you worried about? You've already won. It's over. The battle is over. It's already over. This is release. You're on the way to, to balance. This is making a conscious change to let go. To let go of some responsibilities or to let go of something that has been holding you down. And you're going to have to be flexible. You're going to have to adapt to change this week. Your life is changing in a big way with that Wheel of Fortune. This is something you are going to have to let go of. You're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to be flexible. Don't fight the change. Don't fight the change. This does have to do with your family. Okay, don't fight it. Just let it go. Just let it go. This is a release. Let it, let it go. Breathe. Relax. It's time to relax. This is a release of responsibilities or something like that. You can breathe now. Freeing yourself from a situation. Strength. Reverse. Now the strength of reversed is feeling inadequate. Lack of self-esteem. Lack of self-confidence. You are letting something go that has been weighing you down. Maybe it's made you sick. Maybe it's stolen your power. It's stolen your energy. It's stolen your drive, your desire, your glow or something like that. It's time for you to find your strength and, and regain your strength and heal from something. I think that you have had a lot of, well, this is overwhelmed. I think that you've been overwhelmed by responsibilities or challenges or something or, or too many demands. You need to let go of them and take time to heal. You need to heal. You need to go within. You need to um, nurture yourself and I just feel like you need to I don't really see that in the cards it just you know I need to tell you that you need to nurture yourself I feel like you maybe you maybe maybe you feel like you're depressed I feel like you're trying to do too much for one thing I can see that you're trying to do too much I feel like you need to take a breath you need to relax you need to breathe I feel like uh, this is this is like your health. I feel like you need to focus on your health this week with these two cards. You need really, maybe some of you need to focus on your weight. Maybe you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight or something like that. Um, this is poor health. It's feeling not good. Depression, um, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of courage, no ambition. You may, you may need to let something go. You do need to let something go. You need to, and this is, if you think about the strength upright, the strength upright is the strength to let go. And I feel like you, it's going to be hard to let go. There's something you need to let go of. And maybe you've been greedy, greedily holding on to it. Let it go. You need to let something go. You, you do. To have victory and success in your life, you've got you to accept this change. And I think you're going to be, but I don't think it's going to be easy. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be. Um, two of Cups. And Two of Cups is about a union. It's a partnership. It's about working together, equality. So I do feel like you have an opportunity to work with somebody that you are very compatible with but in order to do that you're gonna have to let go of something first you do you have to because of that ten of wands you can't hold on to this it's stealing your energy you need to heal you need so that you can come together with whoever this person is you know so that you can be with this person the two of cups is unity it's a partnership it's, that's very compatible you know, it's a connection. I feel like you could have a connection with somebody if you could see your value, if you could see your worth, and if you could let go of whatever it is that you are struggling to let go of. I don't know what it, maybe it's just self-confidence. Maybe it's a self-image problem. Um, but this two of cups is, is, a, is a partner. It's a perfect match. I feel like you have an opportunity here for, you know, unity with somebody, but it's your, it's almost like you're, you're messing it up with, by your own, uh, 
overwhelming fears because opposite of strength is fear of I'm not good enough or something like that. You are good enough. You're good enough. You know? <laughs> yeah, you have a golden opportunity this week to go down a new path. You're, this is a gift. This is, this is a, something you can take to the bank and receiving an opportunity. This is a gift from God. So yeah, you have an opportunity. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does have something to do with the bank. You're going to be receiving something that is that you can uh, take with you and you can keep and you can have for a very long time. This is a stable, solid opportunity. But I have to tell you one more time. If you see where the card has landed... Underneath the Two of Pentacles reverse and underneath this Ten of Wands reverse. So there's something that you can, that you must let go of to be able to hold on to and keep this golden opportunity that is about to be given to you. Okay, you have an, a stable, solid opportunity that could bring you happiness if you can go with the flow. And let go of that old chapter. You know, I feel like that battle is over. It's already done. You know, uh, stop playing the game with it. Stop playing with it. Okay, just just drop it. Drop it. Drop that old chapter. Drop that old situation. You have an opportunity to go down a new path. This is a this is stability. This is security. This is a new job, a new business, a new home, a new uh, car, new. Uh, it could be a gift of money. This is a new investment, uh, some sort of prosperity that leads to long-term success. So this could even be, um, I don't know, for some of you, it could be a ring. You know, this is something of value. You're going to be given an opportunity that is very valuable, that could last and grow into something very, very prosperous, but you are going to have to let go of your fear and you're going to have to have your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to go down that path and let go of whatever this is that you are hanging on to. It's a, it's baggage. It's baggage. You have to drop the baggage. Drop it. You have a new partnership here that could be, uh, that could last. Okay. That could really, really last. So, I feel like this is a week of, you know, going in a new direction. Um, it's going to be chaotic because I feel like change isn't easy. And this is a change that you may have resisted in the past. You may, I mean, and your fears are great with the fear, fear, worries, intense situations card and the strength reverse. I see a lot of fear. Fear of of a partnership, fear of love even, fear of letting go, fear of opening up, fear of taking this opportunity, fear of, you know, starting in a new direction. But I think that, you know, this is a week where you do go in that direction and you need to you need to replace your fear with faith, okay? Um, I do believe that you have some issues with your family as well. And maybe your family, your issues with your family have uh, diminished your self-esteem or your self-worth or your self-value or something like that. You know, the, the strength card reversed is, you know, I don't, I don't know my, I don't have any confidence. I don't have any willpower. I don't have any determination. You know, that's a lack of self-love um, as well. Anyhow, I feel like this week you're going to be receiving a golden opportunity that could lead to a partnership, um, but you will have to let go of your fear. You will have to let go of your fear and you'll have to let go of um, holding on to something that you were greedy about. And I don't know what it was, but I'm sure that you do. <laughs> One more card. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Next to the Two of Cups, this is a golden opportunity for a union that could make you very, very happy and it could last a long time. But if you are not willing to be flexible, if you are not willing to uh, let go of this baggage that you're carrying, then it's probably not going to work out. Ah, reality check. This is a reality check and this is a reality check. So you, this is a reality. You need to you need to get real with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. 
Um, you, there's some sort of clarity that is going to be coming to you by the end of the week. You're going to see things clearly. If you've been confused or, you know, you've been in some sort of illusionary state of mind, clarity is definitely going to come. Okay, you could also be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Um, anyhow, now... The moon reversed is some sort of truth being revealed. So there's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed that's by the end of the week. And it's very, very fearful. I, see, I think that you're going to be very, very... I see the fear. You're going to be very, very fearful of this opportunity that is being given to you as to whether you should take it or not. You are getting a new opportunity. Take it. Run with it. Okay? Have trust have trust. I feel as though uh, there's something below the surface that has been, you know, hasn't been shown to you yet, but it's about to pop up and it changes everything. Good luck.